hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Peter Fury and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Porky's Corner because I've been a helmet of the month and you need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah? So follow him, yeah? And get the fella some followers up for Christ's sake. He wears his hat on his sleeve, the good man was. So follow Porky's Corner, he says it as it is and uh, you know, I appreciate the helmet of the month, Russ. No problem. No problem. Thank you very much. You're welcome, mate. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Russell here from Porky's Corner, the voice of hardcore boxing. And it's that time of the month again, I'm afraid. Helmets of the month. And this month we've had that many votes, I've been over fucking well. So, let's go through the votes and let's see who's made the top 15, shall we? In at number 15, ho oh, ho ho, it's Jeffrey Epstein's mate, isn't it? Barry Hearn. How you doing, Bazza? Hope you're well. You're in Porky's Helmets of the Month. Don't forget, Baz. Give me a ring and I'll make sure you don't get in for next month. So that's Barry Hearn, number 15. In at number 14, Michael Diamante. Yes, good old Michael Diamante. The rumour going around is that that thing hanging out the back of his head is an air extension. They are, they are air extension dreads. I mean, what is going on with this man? We're talking about a white man who's got dreads. I mean, if that isn't a joke, I don't know what is. So, Michael Diamante, you're a helmet. In at number 13, <laughs> it's his lowest one ever. It's Tony Bellew, Tony the Bellend. Bell you. How are you doing, Tony? The disappearing man from Liverpool. The man who's not beat a champion. Mr. Vacant Belt. How are you doing, Tom? You're in at number 13. In at number 12. It's Flex Wheeler. Dominic Inkle. How are you doing, Dom? Mr. Steroid Man himself. Three fighters have failed steroid tests from his gym. And the man's still got a border control license. Oh my God. What's going on? It's unbelievable, isn't it? It's unbelievable. In at number 11, it's Penfold. Dave Caldwell. Old Maltese are red. Who has Dave Caldwell got that's any good at the moment? I don't know, but he's voted in Porky's Corner, Elmer's at Month. <laughs> He's voted in for March 2020, so Dave, give me a ring if you've got a problem, come see me. In at number 11, in at number 10, sorry. Oh, he should be number one every month. Eddie swings both ways, Hearn. How are you doing, Eddie? Are you all right? <laughs> Eddie, you should be embarrassed this month in helmets at month, but really, you should be at the top of the pile. What sort of person, right, what sort of person comes out on social media and does an interview and says, this coronavirus, there's going to be money to be made, there's opportunity. <laughs> what sort of person is going to do things like that? People are dying with this virus and you're running around, Eddie Earn, making out that uh, you're going to make a fortune out of that job. You should be embarrassed. Uh, in at number nine, it's Coogan Beck from IFL TV. Coogan, you're putting out videos now that are compilations of fighters at press conferences for a full 30 minutes. Now I know how long that takes to do. You should be embarrassed. Is that because you can't get no access and you don't know what to do with your life now? Why don't you just come out and admit that you can't get no interviews, Coogan? You're in at number nine, mate. Shocking behavior from you. In at number eight. You've got it, he's there again, isn't it? Gareth A. Davis, the man walking around with shit on his teeth. You should brush your teeth, Gareth Davis. You are unbelievable. I swear to God, the rimming you do around Tyson Fury is shocking. Swill it with TCP or hot salty water. In at number seven, 
It's Anthony <laughs> Joshua. The man who, the man, the most protected man in boxing. The man who fights men who will pass the sell-by date. Oh my God, he's down to fight Pool F next if it even happens. The man's 40 on his next birthday. Shocking. You should have fought Wilder when you had a chance, Joshua. You should have fought Tyson Fury when you had a chance. You should be embarrassed. And that fight against Ruiz was shocking. You were frightened to death to throw a punch. You got on your bike. Mr. Pressure Fighter, you ended up a back, a back foot fighter for 12 months, for 12 rounds, sorry, in Saudi. Shocking. No wonder Saudis don't want Joshua versus Poo left. You should be embarrassed, you helmets. In at number six, John Fury. Well, tell them more about John Fury. Did you see that interview he did with Umar, I fell Umar? Totally embarrassing. <laughs> Senator John Fury, number six. In at number five, the whore himself, Mr. Dave <laughs> Hey. How are you doing, Dave? I hope you're all right, mate. You are a whore. You work for BT Sport, you say Tyson Fury is best heavyweight in world. You work for Sky, you say Anthony Joshua is best heavyweight in world. Which one is it, whore? In at number four, is Johnny. It's Johnny Anderson. He's back again, isn't he? Old divorcee, Mr. Johnny Nelson. What can you say? Johnny Nelson, the company man himself of Sky Sports. You are the most voted man in boxing on this. You and somebody else. You're in here every month, Johnny. Sort your head out, Johnny, and give it a shake. <coughs> in the bronze medal position, it's Joe Rakowski from Dazone. Joe, what shit... What are you coming out with in that interview over day on Boxing Social? What a shit! As if Dazone are going to charge a fiver a month for all boxing and all Premier League. Are you out of your fucking mind? Unbelievable! You're just sh chatting shit for the sake of it. Fuck off! So, in at number two, in the silver medal position, and he should be number one, but it's number two, it's B! Run have been, could have been, should have been, never been. Bait bean, beanie! Mr. Fucking Bean, Adam Smith, you creepiest man in boxing. Get out of my side, I don't fucking like you. And the gold medal winner for March. There's only one man that can win this for March, isn't there? Isn't there? And that's the machine himself, Anthony Fowler. Fucking. You won, you won weapon of the week. Beginning of March, middle of March, and you've now won Helmet of the fucking month, Anthony Fowler. You have finally arrived in boxing. Everybody now knows who you are because you've been on Porky's Corner, haven't you? You are a helmet. So, Anthony, Anthony Fowler, the next time anybody goes for a piss in middle of night, you know what they're going to do? They're going to think about you, Anthony Fowler, because this is you, Helmet of the month. So, peace out. Keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, it's a fantastic sport. <laughs> you liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me, uh, because we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking.